welcome to Over 50 Male, uh, First Time Home Chef, Episode 3. Um, as you see, it's after 9 o'clock, and so you want to make a quick meal. This will be a quick meal that we can make after 9 o'clock. They'll be ready to eat before 10 o'clock. Um, we're going to make some uh, pork loin, and we're going to pan fry it, and then we're going to use a... Um, uh, yogurt um, cream sauce that we're going to uh, put on top of it and we're going to bake some tomatoes up and then we're going to finish with um, uh, zucchini with parmesan um, so the whole process should take about half hour to do all this um, so ready to go we'll start um, we'll start now Okay, the longest um, part of the cooking is the, actually the tomatoes. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our tomatoes, wash them um, as usual to keep them nice and clean. Okay, and then we're going to take a knife. And we're going to core out the center part of the um, tomato. Yeah, you want to do it with um, you want to do it without cutting yourself. Okay, so there's one core. Um, no, I'll do it over here so you can see it. And then here's the other core. All right. Okay, so we take out both cores and we discard them. Cut the tomato in half, like that. Okay, see two nice equal halves. And then cut the other one in half, all right? And we have them already in the baking pan. Okay, um, we've turned on the oven to 375 to preheat it. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to take some basic seasonings. Uh, I like to take uh, garlic. And we season the top of the tomatoes. And again, I'll show you here. We season the uh, tomatoes with some garlic. Some... Onion powder, again it's powder, not salt, so garlic, onion powder, and garlic powder. Um, I like to throw in some uh, parsley, okay. uh, I like to throw in some parsley, okay, um, a little parsley on top, and then we're going to add some black pepper. And then we're going to add some um, oil and vinegar on top. Um, I really don't measure it out, I just do a little um, quick pour. Oops, okay, that's a lot of vinegar. Okay, and a little drip of vinegar on the other ones. Okay. There we go. Okay, and then we're going to take the uh, oil. And again, same thing, just like a little quick uh, drop of oil on two tomatoes. Okay. And then what I like to do is to add some flavor to it. Yeah, we'll take some, uh, she did, whoops, why am I not supposed to do that? Okay, um, okay, take some, oh, we'll use panko. Okay, so we'll take some panko, right? And we're gonna just add it on top for some crunchy flavor. Um, on top. 
Uh, sometimes I would use breadcrumbs, but in this case here we'll use the pancho. And then we will put it in the oven for about 25 to 30 minutes. Like I said, that's the longest part. Then the oven goes at 360, 375. Um, and we'll put the timer on for, um, let's say, 30 minutes. Timer's on, and we're going with that. Okay, next, uh, we're going to take the pan, and we're going to put in some extra virgin olive oil. Okay, again, I do like three, uh, I call it three touchdowns. One touchdown, two touchdown, three touchdown, and a field goal. Okay, we put that in the pan. Move it around. Okay, as you can see, and then we're going to um, we're going to turn it on. Okay. So we turn it on. Um, I'm going to drip in again some onion powder. And we're going to turn in some garlic. Okay. So we put some onion garlic in. We're going to take the pork tenderloins, or their, their pork center cut loins, and we're going to drop them in the pan. Okay, um, so we got them in the pan with the oil. We're going to do 10 minutes a side um, to keep it from getting too dry. We're going to do it 10 minutes a side. We get 26 minutes. Um, we'll about 10 minutes a side to do. Um, while it's going on, we're going to create. Um, our salt, cream sauce um, of uh, yogurt um, and what we're going to do is we're going to take a uh, find the bowl and I guess the bowl there and then we're going to mix in uh, the one we're going to mix in a, a whole cup here of yogurt take a half a teaspoon of, well first we have to crush the lemon as usual. Um, I hear people like uh, when I use a lemon crusher. So we'll take out the lemon crusher and we'll, we'll turn the temperature down medium on the uh, pork. Uh, we'll take another little, uh, little bowl. Cut the lemon in half. As you see, cut the lemon in half, and then we're going to take um, and we're going to squeeze. As you can see, we're going to squeeze the lemon right into the pan. with the uh, yogurt in and Again, doing it the proper way, we should get no pits in it. Um, should be a half a cup, and as we learn, a half a, a I'm sorry, a half a teaspoon. Ooh, okay, so we put a lot of lemon in there. All right, well, we'll go with that. Um, so, while the lemon's in there, We'll add um, 
two tablespoons, two tablespoons of horseradish salt, again traditional tablespoon. Oops, you know it? It was too thin. Then so we're gonna have to use a teaspoon, and we'll take one, and we'll take two teaspoons and a half. That's a lot. Um, of first rice. Okay, and then we're going to take um, three tablespoons, three, that's three tablespoons of Dijon mustard. Um, again, I'll uh, see if I can fit Yeah, that fits in, so I can use a tablespoon. Then we'll do one. Yeah. Two and three tablespoons of Dijon mustard. It's Dijon mustard, three tablespoons. All right, mix that in. Yeah, as you see, it's starting to look good. Um, as we mix in the ingredients to make our sauce to go with the pork loin that we're cooking. Um, we're going to add three more tablespoons of barbecue sauce now. Mmm, is this quite a mix? Yes. So we're going to take one. Two. And three tablespoons of barbecue sauce. And then we're going to take a teaspoon, just one little teaspoon of dill wheat. You see, it can get messy in um, the kitchen. And we're going to put that teaspoon of dill wheat in. And we're going to stir it all up. Um, I may even get the whisk. And let's whisk it. And there you have it. The, um, we're whisking together a sauce that we'll use on top of the um, pork loin when it's done. Okay, so again, that's one cup of yogurt, half a teaspoon of lemon juice, or a little more, uh, two tablespoons of horseradish, three tablespoons of Dijon mustard, three tablespoons of barbecue sauce, and finally one teaspoon of dough. And as you see, it's created this yummy, um, smells good too, um, sauce to go on top. And as I'm watching, um, we got the pork loin going, we got the sauce going, and we got about three more minutes before we turn it over. We don't want to get cooked too well. We have three more minutes left on the, on the, uh, I'll show you the beautiful pork loin. <coughs> and then uh, finally what we're going to do is we're going to take um, I'm going to show you over here again while that cooks. Um, I'm going to take a zucchini. Zucchini. And we're going to take the zucchini and we're going to cut it up 
into slices. So I cut it in half first, um, and then I cut it up into quarters. And then I cut the quarters up into an eighth, as you see. All right. Now I'll give us eight slices of zucchini. As you see, the zucchini slices, and we will take another pan. Drop three drops of in. One, two, three. And we'll start the process of drying up, uh, cooking up the uh, zucchini. Okay, turn it on. And I'll be right back. I'll pop it in and we'll be right back. Okay, welcome back. Uh, while you were gone, while you were gone, we flipped the uh, meat. As you can see, it's it's well done on this side now, and we're doing the second ten minutes. Um, we started with the um, zucchini. Um, we're adding in some onion powder and garlic powder and black pepper. Okay and black pepper and then we're going to squeeze the other half of the um, other half of the uh, lemon right in there give it some extra flavor um, we're going to add in right to the pan some paprika on top, just like three or four hits of paprika. And we're going to take, um, going to take some garlic cloves. Take two garlic cloves. Chop them up. There's that delicious um, sauce we're going to use on the yogurt sauce. I'm chopping up the garlic cloves. And I'm going to drop them in on top of the um, Uh, the zucchini. Stir it up a little with the garlic cloves and the olive oil and the paprika in there. Okay, and then we're going to, um, just for the heck of it, we're going to just take a little uh, cooking wine cherry and we're going to just do it like a one touchdown, two touchdown right on. Okay, so. As of right now, with uh, nine minutes left in our half hour, we have the pork loin coming along really well, another uh, five minutes left. We have the tomatoes being cooked well. Um, in about another five minutes, we're gonna add some, um, add some cheese on top. And then right now we have the um, zucchini being grilled right now in the pan, pan fried. And that's it, quick meal like that. Um, I'll be right back in a couple of minutes um, when we go to uh, finish off everything. All right, 
welcome back. So we're coming uh, down to the stretch. There's like a little less than five minutes, uh, five and a half minutes left. We're going to, uh, as you see, we're going to finish the pork. See that? I'm sorry. Uh, the pork, we're going to turn that off. Okay. That's in there. We're going to take out the, um, well, first we're going to take some of the Italian blend. And now we're going to add the Italian blend to the, uh, to the zucchini to get a little extra flavor at the end. Um, some Italian blend, um, cheese. And then we're going to uh, we're going to take out the tomatoes temporarily. And I'm going to show you them now. Mm -mm, do they look good or what? We're going to take out the tomatoes. And you're not going to be able to say it because it's off screen, but um, I'm going to take cheese and just put generous portions on the top of the cheese. Um, and then we're going to take um, and we're going to take it and put it right back in. I'll show you before I put it back in. Um, as you see, generous portions of cheese on top going to put it back in the oven for the last five minutes of it, which is actually three eight minutes and 45 seconds. Um, pork is done. We're going to uh, move around. Uh, let me take a look at the zucchini, okay, as it's finishing up with it. Now you see the cheese in there and the un um, garlic it's looking good. Um, so we've got three minutes left on that. We've got the great yogurt. Um, <laughs> what is that? Okay, we got the great yogurt um, mix. Um, uh, tastes good. Ready to go. Um, and uh, that's a quick meal, half hour ready to eat so you come home nine o'clock this is a chance to make a good quick meal um in a sure amount of time all right um so any questions write me um and we'll see you next time i almost forgot to show you the end result so um And so um, here is your um, plate of meal. Uh, as you see, there's the pork tenderloin. There is the um, zucchini. There's the tomato. And we're going to put a little of the uh, sauce on top for my wife. And her meal is ready. See you next time uh, with another great meal um, by the over 50 male first time home chef. See you.